All right, so we had a huge downloadable update this morning and it brought some pretty cool changes to the game as well as some new skins and future collabs. It was a pretty solid update. So first of all, the new Nike collaboration is coming to the item shop tonight. I did get the two skins early. I will do a full gameplay and review. These were compliments of Epic Games themselves. We got Airforian, who's got three different styles. He's kind of a weird skin, I'm not gonna lie. He doesn't even have ankles. He's like just a blob. This is a really cool color scheme. And then laser orange. I mean, I don't know. This is one of those meme-like skins. I gotta see what his aim down sights looks like before I decide if it's a good skin or not. But the female skin is called Eclipse and it says dynamic duality. She is got a lot going on as well. She's got a little fanny pack there. Some weird, almost like emojis just spam out of her head. Isn't that strange? And again, she's not even human either. She's that weird gel. And then she's got a knight style as well. So I will do a full gameplay and review on these. Stay tuned for that. The back bling is called OG Max. He looks devious. And he's actually part of the emote, which is really cool. I'll show you that in a second. And then we've got the vac and hack. Let's see if this has a splash. Oh, it does. It's a heart. Okay. Oh, a lot of emojis pop out of that as well. So here's the emote. Watch this. It's called Fresh Out of the Box. So the back bling pops out. Does this awesome dance. Watch this. Just enjoy it a minute. That is a super clean emote. I love that. So again, that all comes to the item shop tonight. Now we also got the new super level styles. Let's take a look at those. The first ones are green and they're called Stygian. So Stygian Artemis, Stygian Zeus. It's like a forest green. Stygian Aphrodite. It's pretty solid. And of course, Hades. And then lastly, Medusa. So it's got that white lightning bolt effect in it as well. Next is Olympian. So you can see their eyes all change colors based on the style. And it also has that lightning bolt effect inside, but it's this nice light blue. There's Medusa. And here's Zeus. And then the final one is called Titan Flame. So it's this purple mixed with orange and it looks like the eyes turn orange for this one. That's actually pretty solid. So not bad. I think these are pretty unique. And they do have a lot of flair to them. Here's the Titan Flame Hades. Yeah, those aren't bad at all. Out of all those, ooh, I don't know which one's my favorite. I do like the light blue, but the green looks good too, and so does the flame. I don't know. This one will make you stand out the most, I think. So let me know in the comments, which one do you like best out of these three? So Korra comes out in seven days. We can now see all, ooh, that's a nice loading screen. We can now see all the rewards, including the loading screen. You got a Contrail here, Avatar's Descent. A spray, Water Tribe Colors, the Waterbender's Battle Pickaxes, and then there's her skin. What's page two? Looks like she has another style called Balanced. That's pretty cool. That's a unique color scheme there. Avatar's Flourish. Oh, that's nice. Not bad. Korra's Air Glider. Okay. Avatar's Cycle Bat Bling. That looks like Gref's back bling a little bit. Kind of smaller. Core reacts animated. And then, well, it's a question mark, but we can see the loading screen there. That's a good one too. So we've got a little bit of update on Kratos. As mentioned yesterday in at least two of my videos, Kratos is returning. And it was just, again, 100% confirmed this morning. The data miner Sheena posted Kratos bundle is returning this update. New string was added a few minutes ago, quote, Kratos bundle. So just like I said in my video, I didn't anticipate it to come out today. It was just getting added in the update. So anytime now, this Kratos bundle can return. So stay tuned for it. Hopefully everything in the bundle is included, but I wouldn't be surprised if they left some of the items out. Now, according to Hypex, these are the brand new weapons and the Avatar Mythic. So the new Mythic item is called Waterbending, and it says use Waterbending Ice Technique to hurl sharp projectiles at opponents. Also grants a passive healing when in water. So I wonder if that's shield or health or just health or what. Then we've got a brand new consumable called Banana of the Gods. It says a forbidden delicacy reserved for the Olympians. Restores health over time and increased sprint speed and jump height. So it's kind of like the Zeus medallion, but it also gives you health regeneration over time, which is cool. And of course, we've got the hand cannon, AKA the Deagle. 
It's in gold rarity, purple, and blue. You can put attachments on as well. Next, let's talk about a collaboration that's coming as well. So in the teaser for the new LEGO update, which by the way is out, you can build cars now. I covered that yesterday. We saw Drax from Guardians of the Galaxy. So they teased it yesterday and they teased it in the LEGO trailer this morning. You can see him right here, clear as day in his LEGO form. And this is the brand new bundle that's coming out. Unfortunately, it sounds like it is a money pack though. So you get three skins. One is young adult Groot. How crazy is that? We had the original Groot in the battle pass. Now he's back in the young adult version. No surprise here. We've got none other than Drax the Destroyer. As mentioned, he was in the teaser, so it makes sense he's in this bundle. And lastly, we got Mantis. Mantis is the empath, and it's pretty cool to see her in-game now as well. And like I said, this should be a money bundle. So you got to spend real-life money in order to get it. Now, obviously, they also come with back blings and pickaxes, but there's two emotes associated with them as well. So the first one is the potted Groot dance. And that's exactly the dance Baby Groot did when he was in that flower cup. And then the next one is my absolute favorite, the Zargnut Invisibility. Remember when Drax thought he was invisible while he was eating that, what is it, chips or something? I don't know what it is in his hand, but he thought he was invisible and he's crunching down on the item. It was awesome. Now remember, we're supposed to have the brand new Midas skin come to the item shop tonight. That's what they said in the Midas blog, at least. And he apparently has a green style as well. You can see it right here. I don't know about that. I like the Shadow Midas purple style, but the green style, it kind of looks like the Stygian super level style to be honest i mean it's not bad but that'll definitely make you stand out a lot just like shadow midas does now lastly we've got some huge gameplay changes so listen very carefully because the snipers actually took a huge nerf here so here's what hypex says new fortnite gameplay changes number one zeus hades cerberus and Ares will now drop flowberry fizz instead of big shields okay that's kind of Good, I guess. I mean, I prefer Flowberry over Big Shields anyway. However, the next one is a nerf to Flowberry Fizz. It says low gravity duration reduced from 10 seconds to 5. That stinks. I use that a lot for mobility. It doesn't sound like the Flowberry was nerfed though, just the Fizz. Now, this next one is actually a buff, but some people are saying it's not true. So he says Reaper Sniper and DMR's bullets now have less bullet drop and faster speed. So that, like I said, is a buff. If you're shooting at someone cross map, there's less bullet drop now and the bullet's gonna get there faster. But this tweet right here says, did the snipers actually get buffed? And then he says, people are saying that the snipers got buffed because Epic removed the nerf they added from the hot fixes, but Epic just moved them into game files so the values are still the same, just in a different place. And then he says, too long didn't read. No, it's the exact same as before and confused leakers have spread misinformation. So that buff isn't real. The snipers did not get buffed based on these tweets. Next, he says Zeus's health and shield increased from 350 each to 400 each and 450 each on phase two. Oh boy, so they buffed the health on the bosses? It already takes a good 30 seconds to a minute to destroy these bosses, but they buffed the health. Wow. Next, Cerberus got a buff. His shield is increased from 600 to 700. Oh man. Next, he says Hades Chain's hookshot damage increased from 30 to 40. So I never even pick up the Hades Chain's mythic because it usually gets me killed, but a 10 damage buff is pretty significant. Next, he says Enforcer AR's damage increased. Now, the Enforcer's not even in the game anymore, is it? I don't think so. We got the Nemesis and the Warforged, but not the Enforcer. So I don't know what this is all about. Then he says Drum Gun's fire rate increased by 2.5%. And then the damage increased as well. You can see the numbers right there. Now the DMR's damage was increased as well. I hate the DMR. I can't use it for squat. It shoots so slow and it's way worse than the sniper rifle. But you can see the numbers there. It goes up just a little bit. Now the biggest nerf is right here. Again, it's to sniper rifles. So Hypex says the Reaper sniper no longer drops in uncommon and rare rarities. So green and blue, gone from the game. And it also drops less frequently in epic and legendary rarities now. So the purple and gold, harder to find. So now there's only two rarities of snipers on the map and they're more difficult to find. So they didn't really get buffed, but they really did get nerfed. So there's the new Midas, Shade Midas, look at that. And he does sell Midas's drum gun, a mythic, 600. So a brand new mythic drum gun. So here's the Deagle right here. You can see it does have attachments, at least this one. Let's see how much damage it does. 
85 body shot. Let's see a headshot. Oh, wow. Look at the scope. This is going to be so easy to hit headshots. Ah, 153. Let's see the hip fire. Oh, yeah. I remember this like it's yesterday. Look at this. Absolutely insane. Wow. Okay, so I just confirmed the Avatar Mythic is not in the game yet. But as you saw, the Deagle is as well as the Mythic Drum Gun. By the way, I went and found all five of the brand new NPCs. So Shade Midas, as you saw, does sell the Mythic Drum Gun. He also can patch you up for 100. For Kari, you can duel her and you can buy a Warforged Assault Rifle or the Chug Splash. Now, Clara is pretty significant. She's a special offer skin. And you can duel her, but more importantly, you can buy shockwave grenades. And she's located right here, northwest of Reckless. So the only other person that sells shockwaves is Jules over here. Both sell them for 200, and obviously you only get two per purchase. Next up, we've got Jitter Shock in a weird location right down here, northwest of Snooty. You can rift, you can duel, and you can buy a gatekeeper shotgun. And then lastly, we've got Etheria, and she's located in a pretty strange spot as well, just north of Restored Reels. You can buy the Shield Bubble Jr. for only 120. That's going to be a highlight for me because I love that item. You can duel her, and you can buy the crappy Huntress DMR if you want. So those are the new NPCs. Clara, by far, is the best. Now, to end the video, they also updated the item shop. They added the Masamune bundle, which is a pretty sweet car from Rocket League. If you already owned it over there, you have it for free. We got a new Magic Missile Boost. Some gear for festival stuff is brand new, including the playing mantis, kind of creepy, but also fun at the same time. And then they added the brand new bundle that they teased last night. This is Silence is Golden Bundle with Dynamic Hush and the Silent Sting. Let's see if she has any styles. Oh, she has a gold one. That is awesome. So 1400 for that. You get the Lego version as well, plus her back bling. Does that have a gold? It doesn't, what? Come on. The pickaxe doesn't have a gold style either. So just the skin. Cool. Well, there you go. A nice update. Lots of cool changes. If you play Lego, there's a bunch of new stuff over there. They converted a bunch of skins into Lego form plus emotes. So check all that out if you want. That's all there is to it. Hopefully, guys, enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter grader code, which is TaborTime.